Fortner, Keyboard Magazine, here with Matt Darbyshire from Novation. And uh, they did us the treat today of bringing by some uh, top secret cool new gear, uh, including the Remote SL Mark II MIDI controller. And Matt is going to tell us about this, uh, the new Remote Zero, and the new uh, Focusrite, a company related to Novation, uh, Liquid Sapphire audio interface. So take it away. Great. Well, uh, first of all, thanks for having me. Uh, I am a uh, program manager at Novation. Um, we're based in the UK. Uh, the uh, main reason for us being here is to show off the latest incarnation of our uh, popular MIDI control surface, uh, which is the SL Mark II range. Uh, as you can see here, we've got two products on display. We have the keyboard version and the version which does not have keys, which is called the Zero SL Mark II. So we're really proud to have these products. Um, we like to think that uh, this control surface has really changed the way a lot of people work with, uh, with workstations like Pro Tools and Logic and Ableton and Reason. Um, so what we have done with these products now is looked at what we had with the remote SL range, which is extremely popular and um, a really, really proud product for us. And we thought, well, how can we enhance that product range? So what we did is we looked at the SL, looked at the feedback, and what we've done here on this product is uh, basically done five major improvements. One of which is the most important, which is enhanced support for controlling all the applications that people commonly use uh, in, their, uh, in their music everyday workflow, i.e. it has to have great control over Pro Tools, Reason, Ableton, Logic, and Cubase. Uh, Hardware-wise, the other feature enhancements we've done is to add um, LEDs behind the buttons. Uh, one uh, common uh, feature request we had from the previous product yeah. was that by uh, looking at the hardware, it was very difficult to see the status of all the, the controls you have on this product. So now, with the inclusion of these very high visibility LEDs uh, on all of the buttons across the entire control surface, you can see whether all of the buttons are on or off. The second thing we did was to add um, these encoder LED rings, which have 11 segments, which now allow you to see whether the encoders themselves are at, at specific values. Again, before on the previous product, you weren't able to do this without assigning the controls to this screen. Where you had to look at the, uh, the LED strip to see what was going on. Yeah. Because you have these endless knobs here, so when you've got an endless knob, it's a really nice thing to have a, a, a color. Yeah. The lights around it. So yeah. Can, that's any back with buttons. Yeah, definitely classic. Sure. Uh, the uh, third thing we've added, which is a very popular addition to our Noctium product, is the touch sensitive pots. So now on both the SL Mark II and the Zero Mark II, we have a full contingent of touch sensitive encoders. All right, because this, this had them, and this yeah. is your entry level, you know, really affordable control source, which we love. This, this thing is. Uh, there's a lot more to this than meets the eye, um, but this didn't uh, no. in the Mark One, and now, and now it does. Yeah. Fantastic. So one of the key points for our touch-sensitive encoders is one now assigning things to the display. So basically, if I want to see what this fader here is and what it's going to do, I can just touch it, and on this display here, it will now tell me what that control is going to do. So, for example, this control here is going to be my morph control in my massive plugin which this is controlling. As before, we've still got some very, very powerful advantages of this unit. One is we have a very high visibility um, giant LCD display, which allows us to show the names and values of eight parameters at once. And we can change what this display views by simply touching a control or by assigning a row of buttons to this display. Right, now, I remember before, you had to tap one of these um, or step or page through here, Correct. and now just boom, you're there. Great. So it's kind of like previewing a control before you actually do something with it. Because the last thing you want to do is actually move it in order to see what it is. So now you can just simply view it by touching it. Cool. Of course, as before, uh, along with this, this um, high quality display, we've got a um, Fatal keyboard, which is very important to our customers. The quality of the keyboard um, is one of the things that people come to us for. Uh, especially against the, some of the competition that we have. So, down the left hand side here, we also have the XY pad, which has been greatly enhanced within Automat. 
which I will come on to in just a second. And uh, we also have our unique pitch and mod wheel, which is locking. So under here we have a controller, which allows us to have a non-locking mod wheel, and a slider, which when I push back again, allows us to have a sprung mod wheel. The drum pads themselves have also been improved. One of the feedback we had was that they were a bit too hard to operate and not very responsive. So we've made these nice and soft now to the feel. Oh yeah. Yeah. It does feel way different from the American one. And they're much more responsive due to some design improvements. Which that's what it. Yeah. 